Christianity has been represented through some of the most famous works of literature and art, through paintings and sculptures by da Vinci, Michelangelo, and novels by C.S. Lewis and Robert Whitlow. But many authors and artists who base their work on Christianity at times have found it difficult to find an audience. Professor Evelyn Witz from New York University believes this is largely because of the forces of secularism in today's world. I think it's hugely difficult for a Catholic writer who wants a large audience. I mean, the culture is not friendly to Catholicism. Not only is not friendly, but doesn't understand it. The culture is secular, and it's secular to some degree. Look, it's secular to some degree because it doesn't know about Catholicism or Christianity, but it's also secular and then it doesn't want to know. Many point to the success of novels like The Chronicles of Narnia and The Lord of the Rings, which have Christian themes and attracted large audiences to movie theaters for their release. Joseph Pierce writes extensively on the presence of Christianity in literature. His hope is for today's youth to find Christianity through different novels and movies. So I think that when we have these great works of literature, such as The Lord of the Rings and The Chronicles of Narnia, that are reaching new generations, it's getting them in the habit of reading, it's evangelizing their imagination. It's making them realize that you can get to uh, truth through the power of beauty. And I think this is uh, a very powerful uh, presence. Movies have proven to be an especially effective tool in telling different stories from Christianity. Films like The Passion of the Christ and The Ten Commandments are still talked about years after their release. Others that promote Christian values can be seen from as far back as Frank Capra's It's a Wonderful Life to the more recent animated films like Toy Story and Up. And for those working in the movie industry, the success of these films can be traced to their basic function of telling stories on the human experience. Generally, all the stories are about ideas and values that have to do with being human and life experiences. And this has gone straight to the movies, particularly the American classic film, which is what we've seen for many years throughout almost the entire world. It's almost like steps towards the current globalization. Great works of literature and art have the power to move and shape people. Christianity was the defining force of the arts over the centuries. But for those Christian artists looking towards the future, they're calling for a revival of Christian arts.